Okay. Uh, obviously, the administration has made clear that they want uh, Guantanamo to be closed. They've made this a priority. Members of Congress have asked for a plan to close Guantanamo. Uh, we know that uh, Lisa Monaco and the Defense Secretary have promised that to Senator McCain. Uh, Defense Secretary Carter has been speaking about this publicly. Why has the White House been reluctant to acknowledge that they're working on this plan, and why have they cited um, Congress asking for this plan as a reason to veto uh, the NDAA if, in fact, they want it to be closed? Also, Secretary Carter suggested that he wasn't confident Guantanamo could be closed in this administration. Uh, what reason do you have to be confident that, that goal can be achieved? What will you be doing differently to convince members of Congress who perceive, perhaps, uh, that the White House is putting pressure on the Defense Department to put politics above national security, particularly when we have reporting from the New York Times last night uh, that Susan Rice and other members of the Security Council gave Ash Carter a memo that suggested he had 30 days to make decisions on transfers? There's a lot there, so let me try to uh, fill you in. Uh, well, let me confirm for you that the administration is, in fact, in the final stages of drafting a plan to safely and responsibly uh, the prison at Guantanamo Bay and to present that plan to Congress. Uh, that has been uh, uh, something that our national security uh, officials have been working on for quite some time, uh, primarily because it is a priority of the president. Uh, he believes it's in our clear national security interest uh, for us to close the prison at Guantanamo Bay. Um, and um, in order to reduce that prison population, uh, we need to do a variety of things. The first is we need to continue to um, responsibly transfer to foreign countries those detainees who have been designated for transfer. Of course, that does require certification by the Secretary of Defense uh, that any national security risk associated with that transfer can be sufficiently mitigated. Uh, I would uh, point out, you've been covering this closely, Molly, so you know that you know, just within the last uh, few weeks there was uh, a transfer of some uh, detainees in, uh, from the President Guantanamo Bay to Oman. Uh, the second thing we need to be able to do is uh, to continue to carry out prosecutions of detainees who can be charged uh, in the military commission system. Uh, there are a couple of individuals, including one of the masterminds of the 9-11 plot and one of the individuals who was involved in the planning of the bombing of the USS Cole, who are currently going through that military commission process uh, right now. Um, we also need to provide the remaining detainees that are not designated for transfer with periodic reviews to assess whether their continued detention remains necessary. Uh, and ultimately, we need to explore individualized disposition options uh, for the remaining detainees. So this is complicated work, uh, but we've made a, a lot of important progress since the President took office. And just this year, the, the detainee population at the President Guantanamo Bay uh, has been reduced from 127 to 116. Uh, the concerns that we continue to have with the NDAA uh, are rooted in the fact that for years now, basically since the President took office, we have seen members of Congress, and this is true both Democrats and Republicans, repeatedly impede the effort to close the prison at Guantanamo Bay, despite bipartisan agreement that closing the prison is actually in the national security interest of the United States. Uh, the fact is, uh, continuing to open, uh, continuing to operate that prison uh, is not an effective use of, our ta of taxpayer resources. Uh, and it certainly uh, is not consistent with uh, and our, our national security interests because we know that some extremist organizations uh, use the continued operation of the prison at Guantanamo Bay uh, as a recruiting tool. So there are a variety of reasons uh, why this continues to be a priority, uh, and there are a variety of reasons why we expect uh, bipartisan support for our efforts to close the prison uh, and not continued obstruction uh, from Congress. That's why we're continuing to work on a plan that, uh, when it's completed, we'll uh, be prepared to present and share with Congress. One more sure.